Okay, this is a YouTube video on the X-Pro2. That would be this. Um, I don't have any flashy music. It's not a fast-paced video. Um, there are no jokes, etc., etc. But I've been using this camera for a year and a half since it came out. And now it's time to uh, say a few things about it's not a review, but just about how how I've kitted it out, what I've done to it, how I use it, uh, little things that you can do to improve it, uh, little pitfalls to avoid, etc. Anyway, so this is a kind of practical uh, guide to, uh, not complete of course, but anyway, here we go. So the first thing, I've made a little list, things that drop off because last week something dropped off, which was specifically this I, I cup for the eyepiece. It's just, uh, actually, I can show it here. Luckily, I found it in the bag. It dropped off in the bag. Uh, probably as I was buying a new bag, but you can get replacements from these people. JJC do lots of optional extras for Fujifilm and replacement parts to rubber eye caps. I think them, I read they were slightly different from the one that was on there, or slightly thicker or something. But anyway, I've got them in case it happens again. Another thing that dropped off almost immediately was the uh, sink. The sink cap. This little black thing that disappeared and might have been. There's a little black cap on that sink. There's a sink cover basically. So uh, when I was. Anyway, Fujifilm found a new one for me. I lost the old one. It's just a little bit annoying. Um, so I did the same with that. I found it very hard to find because they're not the same ones that fit the XT1. They are push, you push them on. You don't screw them on. They're just little rubber things that you push on. And this is a slightly different style, but they fit. So that's fine. They fit the X-Pro2. <clears throat> um, well, I took the half cover off to show you that. So this is the half cover by Fujifilm. I like it very much. It's good. So you do have to take it off to access the SD cards, two SD cards here. But uh, not for the battery. You can get the battery off that without having to take it off, which is good. Because this camera eats batteries, so I go around with three spare batteries plus a charged one in the body. Maybe two, maybe maybe the body one and two spare batteries, but the uh, a, one spare battery is not enough. <clears throat> so why I like the half case? It gives it a little bit more uh, grip. So this a bit thickens the camera a bit, fattens it up a little bit, and that works for me. Feels really good, like this. The styling is great. Ah. So anyway, that's the uh, half cover by Fujifilm. Highly recommended. Um, I don't have thumb grips. I don't have soft shutter releases, the reason being I like to be very close to all these controls with my fingers. I like to be in direct touch, I like to be very accessible. Um, <clears throat> what you can see is that I've added two blobs of Sugru to the Q and the lock and the exposure lock, or fo uh, focus lock. 
Um, so Sugru is a Japanese moldable glue that you put on here and then it hardens and stays there. So the reason for that was because those buttons were so recessed you couldn't really feel couldn't really feel them. But I don't know why I put red because they had a I bought this pack, it had yellow, blue, black, everything. And it's actually for the feel of it. There's my Q Q button. I don't I don't need to look at anything, so I didn't really need to do it red, but I just did. Maybe I've got a, a red strap. That's my strap, which uh, is you can alter the length very quickly with this little thing here. There's a strap I've got. I had it for another camera. Decided it would look good on this. <clears throat> Probably not not my favourite strap, uh, but don't dislike it either. So anyway, the sug the sugru is a little. Uh, little improvement there for the ergonomics and to feel those buttons very quickly otherwise you can't really feel where they are. Uh, the joystick is excellent on the back I think everybody likes that um, just being able to change the focus it's not going to do I'm not going to be able to see anything here but anyway so you double press it and it will reset it to the center. You might have seen that in the center there. Um, so anyway, the, the joystick is a great addition. And what can I cover? Uh, I, I don't know why I, I bought a, an aluminium, slightly heavier uh, hot shoe cover instead of plastic I just found it somewhere on the net thought oh that would be, be better um, the lens hood for the this is the 23 f2 I have the 35 and the 50 f2 which are the known as the Fuji Crons and I bought the optional lens hood for it which is excellent, far nicer than the one it comes with. Very recommended, highly recommended. And I also bought the expensive optional lens hood for the XF16, which looks great and it's slightly squarish, etc. Very expensive, but very nice looking. And a good looking camera, why not? So what I like is that they haven't written Fujifilm at the front here. When you turn it over, you can see that some some people also cover it up with uh, um, you know gaffer's tape and so forth, just so that it looks. Uh, just writing is distracting for your subjects possibly, and uh, we don't need to advertise what camera we use if we want to be stealthy or or just uh, whatever reason you might think of. Uh, so what haven't I mentioned? Um, the ISO. I haven't mentioned the ISO dial, which is not to everyone's taste, but it's good. It's a good. It's a good uh, piece of engineering. This, and it, it's this is designed so that when you when you lift it up and change, you can change ISO. You see with the camera off. This is why we have all these external controls. When you lift it up and turn it. So basically, I lift it up with my finger here, turn it to the outside. That is three third stops. In other words, it will go from 200 to 400, 400 to 800. And it's designed exactly for that. So you can, again, you can do it by feel, which is a very important concept with, with uh, uh, aperture rings and controls. You can, you can feel, you can feel way around, you feel your way around the camera. Uh, without perhaps taking your eyes off the subject and that's important because when you know your camera well uh, this by the way that can actually uh, in your bag it can actually move a bit so you will have to keep coming back and checking it's on zero as does the diopter this can change in your bag 
uh, it has done so two, three, four times. I check it and I know that, so I'm aware of that. Some people also cover it up with gaffer's tape, but it's okay. It's not a bit, it doesn't happen that often, but it can move. Um, so that's the ISO covered. Uh, what else? Well, continuous mode, single mode, focusing. Um, I usually leave it on single mode. Continuous mode. Well, this will, after you've locked focus, continuous mode will continue to, and you keep the shutter pressed down. Continuous mode will, will keep focusing on a subject that moves. And you keep keep your finger pressed down. Whereas if you were in single mode, that's it. It's not going to move from there. So you 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 know you better focus on what you were pointing the camera at, or focus recompose, or change the focus frame where you want it. And I often use it in single mode. Uh, now there's. Uh, I'm not going to mention all the tips and tricks there are in the book, but I better mention a few. This camera, with this camera, if you take a picture, so you, you prime it by half pressing the shutter, as you do with many cameras, shutter release, that primes it, it's locked focus, locked exposure, etc, etc. Take your photograph, but do not release the shutter button fully, so it's still half press, pressed, and it won't it won't have to prime it again. It won't have to refocus. Stays focused. So you can take another picture and another one and quickly. If I release it and then it has to reacquire lock. So that's that can save you a little bit of time if you know this little trick. It's not obvious. Obvious. There's um, a nice YouTube clip by Tony Phillips, who's the author of a book on several Fujifilm cameras, but uh, he wrote a book for this camera. And he, he goes over a few sort of shortcuts and things. Uh, I better mention the one about the, the, um, the formatting. The shortcut is to hold the trash can button for three seconds, then, and only then, Press this to format slot one or slot two. That's um, not quite described correctly in the first version of the manual. Okay, so now there's a we're on firmware 2.1. Actually, I think I'm only on 2.0, but um, it's good. Fujifilm has firmware updates for the camera. The one thing that would have been nice is ISO control on the front wheel command dial or the rear command dial. These are you can swap these. Um, <clears throat> one little thing about the front command dial or or the rear, whichever way you swapped it around to, is that sometimes when I set my flash to 250 for syncing, when I sync it to uh, strobes. Sometimes it's possible to accidentally turn this and end up on 320 or 400 or whatever, like I've just done now. I'm on 320th of a second. And that's dangerous because you get the black band um, since the shutter can't stay open for the duration of a flash. It's um, Anyway, max sync, maximum sync speed is 250, so that's a little uh, a little thing to be aware of, and and you just have to check it that it hasn't moved or something. Uh, this, while I'm, well, I've got it pointed at the camera. This is a function button here, right here. That's a little bit new. Just press in there. That's a little bit new, so you might actually not know about that. This goes travels in both directions for the optical viewfinder 
um, or the electronic viewfinder and the magnification. Uh, right, next, what haven't I mentioned? Optical electronic, ele the electronic uh, viewfinder is very good because like all mirrorless cameras, you're seeing a preview. So you're seeing, uh, if you exposure compensate here, you will see it getting brighter, you will see the picture getting darker. That's handy, because that's what you're going to get. The optical is very nice too, and in the optical, um, you know, it might be more relaxing for the eye or something, but in the optical, I find that the XF16 24 millimeter equivalent is perfect for it. You can't get any wider than that, but it will it will give you the arrows on the side and tell you you're not seeing the whole field of view. But actually, I think you're just about covering it. So that's as wide as it will go. There's also a setting for two magnifications in the optical viewfinder, and I kind of just wish there was a one to one actually magnification. That would be cool. That's something to consider. Straight through viewfinder. Uh, other things. Have I gone through everything? Single continuous mode. Manual manual focus is fly by wire. It's not totally manual. It's uh, computer controlled. It doesn't. It it's got better and better. But I would prefer manual, which you do get on third party lenses. Oh, the tripod fix, I should have shown that when the half case was off, is uh, right in the middle underneath the lens, which is good for panorama mode. Uh, well, actually, this camera doesn't have panorama mode, but you know, you stitch them together yourself. But at least the tripod fix is in the middle. Uh, I think I'll uh, just a couple more accessories that, uh, that I've got. Somebody in France, I think it's France, uh, printed these little frames for the batteries, covers. Nice little uh, 3D printer. And they're making a bit of pocket money selling these at a price. And I've got them to protect the contacts on the battery. So that looks quite cool. Neat. Uh, what else do I have here? I clean my lenses with these Zeiss or lens wipes and of course the um, the pens with the uh, what do you call them I've forgotten what they're called I haven't got one here or have I no anyway I wanted to show the the bag that I have found for it which I like if I'm just taking my X-Pro with a couple of lenses, so the small ones, the billing and digital, uh, good size for the X-Pro too. Nice material. Camera here, and two lenses. Two lenses here. Two of the small lenses, the Vujicrons, the F2 lenses, or I could put the the original um, 35. In there, no problem, and another Fujicron. So two lenses plus one on the body mounted with lens hood. I have to take it off. That'll all fit in here. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> uh, it was very nice uh, camera case for just carrying minimum amount of stuff around with you. Uh, that's about it. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, I hope there's something there that you've um, enjoyed. The X-Pro2, very good camera. That's the one I like. Uh, you don't have to have a Leica. This works. This works pretty well. Ciao.